Alright, hey what's up guys, uh, it's been a while, but uh, I'm going to show you guys a pretty cool easy tune from a film that I saw uh, the other night. And um, <clears throat> I did get myself a tuner, people were complaining about my, my guitar being out of tune, so I went out and I got a snark tuner. Very useful, very uh, epic, uh, works very well, highly recommended snark. The blue one's just fine, you don't have to go for the red one. So anyways, let's start this. So this, um, the picking is, we're not going to be using a guitar pick. Instead, we're going to be using our fingers. We're going to be using the thumb and the three, uh, the pointing, middle, and uh, the ring finger. We're going to be using those over here. So we're going to be using them on the first three strings. And we're going to be doing like this kind of, of, uh, of uh, picking. These three just you kind of just want to make them into like a claw, you know, ah, claw, ah. and then the the thumb. So what I like to do, I like to keep my pinky down over here to kind of keep it steady, especially for beginners since it's kind of difficult to to keep your hands floating. So you could always put your your pinky down and just use all the other the three fingers and the one thumb because it's not four fingers, you know. It's, I mean it's not five fingers, it's four fingers, two thumbs. So let's start right over here. Alright, so then we're going to start on this side. So it, it's kind of, it's, it's almost like a, uh, like a G, a G shape chord. But we're going to be doing it this way. Because it's a lot easier to kind of just keep your fingers in the same place and move this shape down. Because we're going to be using uh, the 5th fret for the uh, bridge. So this side starts, like I said, once again, keep your, your three fingers kind of like a hook shape to make this even more easier so then we start on the third and then after so we pick the the sixth string once and then we pick uh, the the open third second and first finger on the on the third of the first string twice and then we move up to the second fret same well, not really the same, but but we do it once on the sixth, once on the on the open strings and and the uh, first string on the second fret. So and we do it all open. We do the the sixth string open, and then we do it twice with the uh, with the uh, first three strings. And then we go back onto the second. Once again, we put our fingers back down on the second fret move back over to the third and that's that's it then uh, we did the other part which she starts, I don't know the, the lyrics to the song, but I know that's how it opens up, that's the intro. Uh, sing you a waltz. And then uh, she goes into this other uh, middle part to the bridge where it's, it's basically just down to the fifth fret. Kind of like an A shape, but down a string. All, of, all the fingers down one string. So instead of, you know, having it over here, you have it down here on the fifth so you're so all the strings you're playing open they're now closed uh, you have a you have a finger on those now so it's the first three strings on the fifth and your thumb this is a little bit tricky but uh... with a little bit of practice you could do this so it's the same pattern and then you take off the pinky you put down the your your middle your pointing finger down on the fourth of the first and your thumb on the sixth of the fourth string, you don't you don't move your your middle or your ring finger, and then you do it again. You move it uh you move it a half a step again. So now you're on the third, and on the sixth and on the first, and your middle and your uh, ring finger still in the same fret. So the first time she just does it, she just goes. Sorry. 
then she goes into this D shape, D shape, and with the thumb over, and then goes back to the intro. the whole song and then uh, once again she goes back but she changes the the, the bridge and then she goes back over here to the fifth now there's different versions I think uh, I've seen a couple different tabs and they always change this but I do know it's the same thing on the uh, on the fifth so, like I said first three strings and the sixth same pattern, uh, six bass, and then the and then the uh, first three strings. And then instead of going to the D shape, we come back. So that's the difference. So like the first time we we went from this. To the, to the uh, D with the thumb over on the, on the sixth of the second. So in this time we we go and we bring it back. And then we just hold it there for a little bit and then we go back to the same to the intro. And for the last part. She just uh, she just picks each note uh, separate. I mean each each uh, string separately. So it's uh, same on the on the same frets like like uh, the same. So then for the last part, very simple. It's just like uh, just like the intro. We use the third third uh, the third fret, and we're gonna do six. And then we're going to work ourselves up from the first to the third. So we're going to pick the first to the third. So one, two, three, and then move over to the second. Six, one, two, three, open. Six, one, two, three, and then closed again. One, uh, six, one, two, three, and then all together. Like just slowly, and that's the out, that's the, that's the outro or the the end of the song, and that's it. So it's an easy, cool song. It sounds pretty awesome. You kind of just like. Yeah, cool, easy song. I think uh, will be a good uh, exercise for to use your thumb to kind of like get it more flexible. And, and once you get used to using your thumb quite a bit more, you'll, you'll be able to use it. Instead of having these these bar co these uh, bar chords, you, you'll be able to change them up and have this uh, this uh, neat sound to some of your bar chords with the opened uh, first and second string. So I'll have a have a cool uh, Damien Rice kind of sound to it. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys uh, have fun playing this song.